Hi friends, it's Miss Couch again from KidSmart, your teaching artist. And today I have a set of links to send you for a lesson on Vincent Van Gogh, or Van Gogh as he was called in his life, a famous artist uh, from a long time ago in another country far away. And I'm going to share with you um, the different screens that you will see in the links that I'm sharing. So, here, this is Van Gogh's uh, famous painting, Starry, Starry Night which you might recognize. A lot of people like to have it um, maybe on a picture on their wall or a tote bag or even on a t-shirt. Uh, over the many, many years since this painting was made, it has spoken to many different people uh, and inspired them in many different ways. And that's one of the things that I'm going to talk to you about today. So this website, this link is from uh, the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. And it does have some uh, writing on the page. So you can um, read this with an adult. Uh, Van Gogh painted this in 1889, so more than 100 years ago, about 130 years ago, and he was actually a hospital patient when he painted it. Uh, you can zoom in with your computer screen and make it big and look at the way that he worked. Now, of course, he used paint but when I look at this painting, I see that it looks just like dashes you might make with a very uh, waxy crayon or a pastel. So um, that to me is something very interesting that he doesn't use long, smooth strokes. He, he uses his brush uh, in a way that we might use a crayon or a marker to make dashes. And you can see in here that he has the moon and stars and then this swirl, which uh, a lot of people interpret different ways, uh, like uh, the wind or um, just so many tiny stars that they all blend together. And I've been spending my evenings outside you know, after the sun goes down, looking up at the sky. This weekend we had a crescent moon just like this uh, with the star Venus, very bright. I tried to look for it, but it was hard to see here in New Orleans. Uh, the moon was easy to see, just the star Venus was hard to see. But uh, if you go down in the picture, lower in the sky, you see some hills, you see a little town, here's maybe some trees, church in the town, houses in the town, and then this big, big tree up in the front of the picture. So this was probably close to his window or on the grounds of the hospital where he was staying, that tree was very close and the town was very far away, which made it look like little, little toy houses. And then further away were the hills, the sky seemed so large. And a lot of people have different ideas about why he made these glowing stars but I will let you think about those glowing stars and maybe spend some time looking at the stars and you can have your own ideas about that too. Then the next link is also from the Van Gogh Museum. It is a little video, it's four and a half minutes long, 
about his life, different places uh, where he was born and lived. Uh, he did most of his painting in France. And you can see that on the map. There's a little train that takes you around to different places where he lived. Then the third video is a really beautiful exhibition by a digital artist who uh, created this large space with screens that uh, they filled with paintings by Vincent van Gogh. And you can see in this image that they're all self-portraits, pictures he painted of himself, of how he felt that he looked. Uh, when he looked in the mirror, when he thought about himself, we call those self-portraits. But uh, the exhibit includes much more than that. It includes some of his famous uh, sunflowers and of course the starry night. It's very interesting how he inspired this um, digital artist to make this beautiful exhibit that people can walk around in. This uh, museum exhibit was in Chile, another country. It's a Latin American country south of the equator below us. Uh, and it just looks amazing. So you can click on that link to learn more and watch and see all of his paintings with his little bitty dashes that he made with his paintbrush. How he used those dashes, not just for the sky, but for a straw hat or for the whiskers in his beard, all those things. The next link is a, on YouTube, and this is a book called Katie and the Starry Night. It's by James Mayhew. It's a story about a little girl whose grandmother takes her to the museum where she sees the art and it's about the things she imagines when she is looking at this piece of art and others by Van Gogh. So I think you will enjoy that story. The next link is another YouTube video and this is a song. This is a song by uh, um, an artist named Don McLean. He's very uh, famous for other songs that he's written. But this one is called Vincent or Starry Starry Night. Don McLean was very inspired by Vincent Van Gogh and learning about his life and looking at his art. And he made this beautiful song about Vincent. And it's the next link is back from the Vincent Van Gogh Museum where they put the lyrics of the song up and then they put um, their interpretation of it. So you can see the song begins, starry, starry night, paint your palette blue and gray, look out on a summer's day. So it's talking about Vincent Van Gogh, getting his paints ready and being in his room or in the courtyard or maybe even outside. He was there in the summertime, but all the paintings during uh, that visit to the hospital he, uh, he used all these blues and grays. And you can see um, in the next set of letter, set of lyrics, talks about shadows on the hills, things he was sketching, things he was feeling. And you can read all about those lyrics right there. Then I have another YouTube link, and this is an art teacher that has a how-to video on making your own Starry Starry Night using crayons, uh, followed by uh, covering your finished work with a little bit of watercolor uh, paint. And let me say, if you don't have watercolor paint, that's okay. You can use um, just some food coloring and a couple drops of water you could use um you and it's really kind of blue they're putting blue on top of everything if you had some blue kool-aid and a little packet uh you could put that packet in about a quarter cup of water and mix it if you have already been to the store and bought easter egg dye kits you could make the blue easter egg dye and use some of it to 
spread just a tiny bit on your paper. You can watch that video and decide if you would like to make your own art, which I think would be really cool. The next one is a poem. This is a poem that was written uh, by another famous musician. Uh, this, this artist is Tupac Shakur. He wrote this poem when he was in high school. He dedicated it to the memory of Vincent Van Gogh. It's a very, very nice poem. I really, uh, I really love what he has to say about art and artists and uh, their creations from the heart coming from their soul and what they're trying to express uh, and that it doesn't have that much to do with the way the audience receives it. And he talks about at the end how much uh, Vincent Van Gogh gave to us, uh, even though the public did not recognize him as an artist, he barely sold any paintings in his, the entire time he was alive. Um, and in the end, uh, he, he died without knowing that the world would treasure his art and that he would be revered as a fine artist. He didn't know any of that at the end of his life. Um, and uh, to me, that's what makes this a beautiful poem uh, by Tupac. And it is said um, that the song Don McLean wrote, Vincent, was one of his most favorite songs and that his girlfriend played it for him uh, in the hospital as he lay dying uh, because she knew what it meant to him. So the next link is a little flow chart, a little diagram. And here you can see a picture of Tupac. This is kind of a famous look that he had with his bandana. Um, he was really an exceptional talent. His music is amazing and he was just a breathtaking actor. He was so, so good and died so young. It's really very sad. But here you can see influences in his life. So the artist Tupac was influenced by other artists and other people from his life. So on the one side, we can see here Don McLean and uh, the song Vincent. Below that, we can see an author, Nic Niccolo Machiavelli, who wrote The Prince, that, which was a book from a long time ago that Tupac read. Uh, he read it when he was in prison. Then here is uh, Huey Newton, who was... Um, an activist in the Black Panther Party, um, which I did not find out if um, how much Tupac knew about Huey, but I think it was a lot because his mother was an activist and I think his mother taught him about Huey Newton and about the Black Panther Party and um, gave him a strong sense of self and empowerment that made his career as an artist possible. Then it also lists Vincent Van Gogh as an inspiration to Tupac and Bruce Hornsby, who was um, a horn player, a saxophonist, that he sampled some of his music in, uh, Sh Tupac Shakur sampled some of Bruce Hornsby's music in one of his uh, really fantastic songs. Then I have a YouTube link um, again to um, another uh, version, another, a new song. This song is written by Quincy Jones and Quincy Jones, it begins with Quincy reading Tupac's poem that he wrote in high school, the one that was a couple screens back. And then Quincy has his own song. He raps about uh, the life of Tupac uh, and the life of Vincent Van Gogh and the inspiration that occurred between them. And um, so I think you will enjoy uh, the video here um, that has Vincent Van Gogh's pictures and pictures of Tupac Shakur. And then the last link 
is the lyrics uh, from Quincy Jones' song. If you want to go into those with um, with an adult, can help you read them uh, and think about the song that Quincy Jones was trying uh, to give us from his heart about these two artists that were both gone uh, much too soon, who had the potential to create an entire world with their music and acting and painting, as it were, depending on the artist. Um, and the fact that uh, they gave everything they had to their art while they were alive and what a gift that is to the rest of us. So I hope that you will enjoy these links. I hope that um, you will click through and try a few of them. Maybe you just want to listen to the story, Katie and the Starry Night, and watch the video from the museum. That's fine. I think you would enjoy watching the tutorial and trying to make your own Starry Night. And then you might even use that same technique of those short dashes with your crayon to make some kind of art about something that you see on the daily. Um, around here, it's the flowers in my garden. Um, it's my car. I see it sitting in the driveway. I see, uh, I see the new puppy that we have. These are the things that I see uh, every day. The dishes that we eat when we make dinner, my favorite pot and my favorite cast iron skillet that I use to cook most nights, um, the food that I make, uh, which is not very exciting, but when this is over, I'm going to go out to eat again, and I'm going to really enjoy that. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you're working hard on being independent, being strong, being problem solvers. And I hope you are nice to your family who love you very much and want all good things for you. I promise. All right. See you later.